Welcome to today's Daily Chelsea, your one-stop shop for all things Chelsea related. My treat today is a homemade espresso. I'm not sure life gets any better than that. Um, I don't really know what to do myself on the, uh, with myself on these weekends. When Chelsea aren't playing, it's such a boring weekend. So I've had to look elsewhere for my Chelsea fix. All I really want to do is whack a pair of shorts on and get over the bridge. Sadly, that can't happen. So I've had to scour international football for my Chelsea fix. Um, I think the only place to start is uh, Spain. Yeah, we have so many Spanish internationals in the team. And uh, so I've, I've uh, had a look through their highlights and uh, they look very good. Uh, Fabregas, Pedro and Costa all played uh, in, the, in a game for them. They won 2-0 against Slovakia. Slovakia are in really good form. It's actually the only place that Spain have dropped points recently uh, in the away fixture. So they got a 2-0 win, uh, win at home and Iniesta scored a penalty. And you won't believe this. Diego Costa won the penalty. I, clearly not a Premiership referee. We know that's not allowed in the Premier League, but Diego Costa won a penalty that Iniesta scored to put Spain 2-0 up and virtually guarantee their presence at France 2016. Um, William also played. Uh, it's nice to see William finding a bit of form because I didn't think he was great against, uh, in well, in recent fixtures, actually. But uh, he played very well playing for Brazil. Uh, he played in a friendly against Costa Rica. They, Brazil won 1-0. Uh, William played virtually the entire game and played very well. And the game was in New Jersey. I think that's the second time that William has played there very recently because he obviously played for us against the Red Bulls there. Uh, this is a very interesting one. Ghana. Ghana um, have made it two wins out of two. They've got six points uh, uh, in their qualifier. So they're looking, uh, they're looking very good. And the important thing is, Christian Atsu played, which is obviously very nice to see, but... Baba Rahman played, played very well, and I think this is exactly what we need. We needed him to find a bit of match fitness because we have a massive game against Everton. So I think Baba Rahman's performance in this game, the fact that he's got a bit of match fitness, could mean that he will play in that game. I'm delighted to see they didn't concede a goal, which is always nice for a defender. So that is excellent news there. And a little bit of depressing news. Uh, our Serbian boys, Ivanovic and Matic, both played in a game. Serbia won, they won 2-0 against Armenia. But... They are out of France 2016. A victory wasn't enough for them. Results in other places meant that they now can't qualify. So it's a shame for them. But um, I suppose finding the positives, if Matic uh, were playing, was if they were to have qualified, they'd be busy next summer. So both both of our Serbian lads will now have a summer off next year. Um, but it's sad that they're not going to be in the tournament. Uh, quick mef, uh, reference to... The brilliant Dom Solanke. Uh, England got a great win the other night. Dom Solanke was a main reason that they did. Uh, they were down to 10 men. It really was Lions fighting against the odds. So huge credit to Dom Solanke. Unsurprisingly, he scores, he scores goals. That's exactly what he does, isn't he? And it's really lovely to see. And one quick mention, something that is going to warm all your hearts on this Sunday morning. Didier Drogba made his debut in the MLS yesterday, playing for Montreal. How do you think he got on? He obviously scored the perfect hat-trick. Left foot, right foot, header. Uh, it's just not surprising at all, is it? Didier Drogba taking the game by the scruff of the neck and dragging his team to a 4-3 victory. So, uh, yeah, massive congratulations to Didier. So I'm just going to use this Sunday, No, still no Chelsea news, but uh, I'm going to use this Sunday to think of my favourite Didier Drogba moments. So do me a favour, comment below, let me know exactly what your favourite moments are. I just can't believe that he did that. It's first game, bangs in a hat-trick. What a man. I um, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please uh, click the subscribe button. And remember, we are the champions. They are not. Cheers. Welcome to Backpage Blues. I'm joined by Charlie, the hurricane skillum from the Mail Online, and it's time for my favourite part of the week. Uh, we're going to answer your questions. So firstly, thank you very much for getting them into us. And secondly, we should probably make a start Let's and get go. through Let's as go. many as possible. Shall I go? Yeah, go on. 